Let's talk a little bit about a brain-computer interface. I think in a nutshell, what it means is, for most people, a system that is recording from the brain, whether it's non-invasive from the scalp or something that's fully invasive, like within the brain itself, and connecting those signals to a computer that analyzes the signal and then does something with it. In many cases of um, BCI research, the application is, uh, for example, to remove a computer cursor. Or uh, in the research that we've done is to replace speech words for someone who's severely paralyzed and unable to talk anymore. It's about interpreting brain signals mm. and then using a computer to um, interpret those signals and then um, transform them into a form that's useful to us. Where we've focused recently is on patients that have a f severe form of paralysis like ALS. So there the problem is they have largely normal language, but they can't get those. Can't get the motor signal out. Can't get the motor signal out to the vocal tract, the lips, the tongue, the jaw, the larynx. So what's happening right now wow. in the field is a lot of these technologies are now going to become wireless over time. But you're absolutely right. One of the main reasons is that we want to move away from the percutaneous. We want to move away from the ports, which are infection risks, uh, on top of other problems, and uh, move to things that are fully implantable, uh, fully wireless. How long do you feel you're away from that? Basically about a year. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a really interesting time where we're seeing a convergence of like what's possible with electrical engineering, you know, high bandwidth, wireless, way beyond what we can do with Bluetooth. Um, uh, advanced electronics that now allows to print some of these sensors on a substrate that is thinner than a piece of paper, really, really small, and on a substrate that can conform to the convolutions, um, you know, the different uh, peaks and valleys of, of the you know human cortical surface. So what is the trade-off between ECOG and sensors inserted directly in the brain? 